Hello everyone. Okay, it is almost Christmas. I'm in a baking mood and I am craving apple crisp. So, as you can see, I've got apples here and I found, I guess I should, I'm charging this because the battery's dying. But this is a um, recipe called Best Vegan Apple Crisp and it's by the Minimalist Baker. Let's see if that picture loads up properly. This is an old blackberry. In any case, she has two apple crisp recipes. Look at that, looks good, huh? She has two apple crisp recipes. One is gluten-free and the other is regular. And I don't uh, have any gluten issues. So I'm gonna make this one also because it calls for pecans in the, uh, the, the coating, the crust. So what you need for this, guys, are now, I'm going to make half of the recipe. I'm going to do a little bit now so I don't eat it all, and then I'm probably going to make it again for Christmas for dinner with the family. Um, but what you need, and I'll tell you the full recipe if you like, or I'll just put a link here in the, the description to it, but it says eight large apples, and you can have like a mix of tart and sweet, so some Granny Smith, some Honey Crisp, whatever. Um, one lemon, juiced. So I've got like my half lemon juice since I'm making half. Uh, two thirds of a cup of coconut sugar or use organic cane sugar if you don't have coconut sugar. One and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon. You need three tablespoons of cornstarch for thickening. A quarter cup of fresh apple juice or water. I'm gonna use water. And if you want, you can add some ginger in there grated ginger or ground ginger, and optional pinch of nutmeg. I might add that little pinch of nutmeg, I won't add the ginger. And the topping is gonna to consist of a cup of rolled oats, half a cup of almond meal, a half a cup of unbleached all-purpose flour, a half a cup of coconut sugar or organic cane sugar, a half a cup of muscovado sugar or organic brown sugar, and a half a cup of pecans, roughly chopped, quarter teaspoon sea salt, teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and a cup half a cup of melted coconut or olive oil. So I've got the coconut, I'm gonna try it with that. Hopefully it's okay. Oops, okay. <laughs> Hopefully that's okay. Ah, sorry guys. Okay, I have the coconut oil, I'm gonna try it with that. Hopefully it turns out okay. The idea of olive oil seems a bit weird to me. Let me get started. So it says to uh, basically cut about eight apples. So I've, I've got about four and a half in here since I'm going to try making half of the recipe and it says that you'll probably end up with how much is it about two tablespoons of um, lemon juice so this should be about a tablespoon let's see Ooh, perfect just a little bit more than a tablespoon so put your lemon juice in there basically it's a one bowl recipe for the, at least for the mix and then also for the toppings so you're gonna put everything into one bowl it says here two-thirds of a cup of um, coconut sugar I'm gonna use one-third and I might not have enough but I did pick up some organic cane sugar and some muscovado and uh, I'm gonna add the cane sugar to this and add that in and I'll be back in a moment okay so here's the sugar now, coconut sugar is a low glycemic sugar filled with nutrients, minerals. It's really awesome. I love it. This is the brand of the uh, golden cane sugar. And I, I'll talk about the muscovado sugar when I get to it, but because it's also basically unprocessed, it has a whole bunch of minerals and nutrients as well. However, it's not low glycemic um, as coconut sugar is. So, okay, so one and a half half teaspoon of ground cinnamon. So I put a half a teaspoon and I'm putting a quarter to make that exactly half of the recipe. Now it also calls for three tablespoons of cornstarch, so I'm going to put one and a half tablespoons of cornstarch. Okay, so that's one and a half tablespoons of the cornstarch, an eighth of a cup of water, and I'm gonna get a pinch of nutmeg, so I'll be back. Okay, so because I found in my seasoning, this is my nutmeg, I'm just gonna get a little pinch. I could probably put a tiny pinch more than that. Um, I found I have ground ginger, so I'm gonna put a pinch of ground ginger in there as well. I use this with my, I think my pumpkin pie recipe. Okay, there we go. All right, so basically now guys, you're gonna just mix this up. 
and then get started on your topping. And if I didn't say so already, preheat your oven to 350. Okay, so now that, uh, see I've got it all mixed together nicely, add it to a bowl. And after making the full recipe, approximately 9 by 13, I'm going to put this into this bowl, which is about an 8 by 8. I have a 9 by 9, but there we go. There we go, perfect. It already smells good, if I didn't say that already. And you're just going to spread that out. Okay, my bowl is dried out, and I'm going to put my dry ingredients in there. So I've, I'm making half, so while it calls for half a cup of unbleached all-purpose flour, I'm putting a quarter cup. Okay, so a quarter cup of almond meal, so half a cup of rolled oats. So this is, uh, I'd heard of muscovado, but never knew what it was. This is made by Camino, same company as that. Got both of these on sale this week, awesome. Whole brown sugar, this is organic. Let me just read what it says here about it, okay. This whole brown sugar is made from the unrefined goodness of organic cane sugar juice. Its rich taste and soft texture will take will make your favorite recipes irresistible. Replace conventional brown sugar measure for measure and get delicious results. Okay, um, but look at some of the stuff it's got in here. It's got 590 milligrams of potassium, 95 grams of carbohydrates, a lot of sugar for 100, 100 grams, one gram of protein, it's got 4% calcium, 20% iron, 14% zinc, 16% magnesium, 8% phosphorus. So this is not just a sweetener. I mean, it is, but it's got some good stuff in there as well. Okay, so I'm putting, I believe, a quarter cup. A quarter cup of the cane sugar. I'm just like putting a slight less bit. I don't need to have all this sugar. However, I want to, not however. I tasted this and I tasted the organic cane sugar. Now guess what, guys? My family's from Jamaica and... I mean, this tastes like when you eat sugar cane. You can just taste the natural goodness in there. So I've got the oats, almond meal, sh flour, my sugars. Now I need um, a quarter teaspoon of salt, sea salt, cinnamon, a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and some melted coconut. Okay, so I'm going to get half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay, so here's my quarter cup of pecans. Pecans. And when I'm going to show you what I did, I got, when I went to get uh, some pecans at the, the bulk store, they only had at one point when they were on sale, all they had were these like sort of crushed ones, crumbles. And then I went back and got some of the pieces. So I just put a mixture of both in there. And now I just, and I added, um, this is the sea salt I used. Just put in uh, just about an eighth of a teaspoon of the sea salt. Now I've just got to melt my coconut oil and I'll be back. All right, I've mixed my topping all together with the exception of the coconut oil. So you need a quarter cup, since I'm, of course, doing half. So a quarter cup of coconut oil. Just gonna pour that in there. Now you can always uh, use earth balanced butter or some other vegan margarine if you want. I decided I'm going to try this recipe as is with the coconut oil, especially to see if you can taste it, because my daughter's really fussy, trust me, when it comes to that. But if she doesn't like this, then uh, when I make it for Christmas, I will put um, vegan butter instead. All right, so now, and you know, what I did also is you, you can just like put your fingers in there and break up any clumps of the muscovado sugar or anything. Basically, now that you've got this, I've got to taste this part here, guys. Mm -mm -mm. Good, good. Basically, just spread this over the top. Gosh, I can't wait to eat this already. In fact, it could be eaten just like this. I do have a recipe, guys, for a raw apple crumble that I have not yet posted. And I put this, I did this like over a year ago. I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay. All right, guys, here it is. And I have to tell you, the hardest part of this recipe was waiting the 30 minutes after I took it out of the oven. So I baked it for about an hour and I let it cool. It smells so delicious. Dying, dying, dying to try this. So I'm going to, um, to scoop some into the bowl. My daughter does not like crust on apple pie, so hopefully she likes this. I mean, it's all about the topping, isn't it? 
There we go. I'm going to just taste a bit of this, guys. Uh, the recipe promises that get, the sauce will be caramelly, and it certainly looks like that, doesn't it? Oh my god, so good. This will be a hit. Oh my god, delicious. Okay, I'm adding ice cream to this. I'm eating this, guys. Mmm. I love apple crisp. This is phenomenal. Not really tasting the, the coconut oil at all. Perfect. No crust, no fuss, just apples chopping. Love it. The pecans taste delicious in this. Everything just tastes really, really good. Just in case you haven't heard me do a review on it before, the So Good Creamy Vanilla is really delicious. It's soy based and it honestly is one of the most realistic um, dairy-like of the vanillas. I like the, uh, the So Delicious, um, the cashew based one, and I like their soy one as well. But what I like about this is for the size, this is a, it's like twice the size of the smaller ones for the same price or even a little bit less. So I'm enjoying some of this, guys, with my apple crumble, my apple crisp. Num num num. Okay, there we go. Thanks for watching.